You're putting yourself and everyone else in grave danger. I need you to give me the stone. This scene opened up a conversation online. Is Gal Gadot a good actress or is she overrated? You can say she's anything but a good actress. Damn! Her acting range and ability are mediocre at best. Please don't play with me right now. Just, no, that's it, please. Just watch any scene she's in and analyze it with care and you will easily notice a lack of skill. Mm. She has a monotone voice. Her accent is somewhat distracting and her facial expressions are not convincing. Her acting is relatively poor. Damn! Tommy Wiseau can act better. You know what they say, love is blind. Oh. Mm. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Gal Gadot is an Israeli actress and model who rose to fame for a role as Wonder Woman in the DC Extended Universe. She made her acting debut in the fourth installment of the Fast and Furious film series in 2009. It seemed like everything was ready for Gal Gadot to become a movie star, but reality would turn out much more difficult for the actress as she struggled to find roles in Hollywood and eventually disappointment will set in. According to her, the audition process takes too long. People will tell you your life will change if you get this role, then later on, you don't get it. I got to a point where I didn't want to do that anymore. The disappointed actress was very certain on giving up on acting and returning back home. That is until Zack Schneider invited her to audition for an undisclosed project, which turned out to be a life-changing role indeed. Gal Gadot made her debut as Wonder Woman in the 2016 film Batman v Superman and went on to star in her own solo film in 2017. I never planned on being an actress, so for me everything kind of, you know, one thing led to the other, the other led to a different thing. I'm so so lucky and grateful that I'm the one to portray this character who's so iconic and so great. And now I feel like I'm the luckiest you, girl. In not only the that, world. but you're also now you're filming, you have your own movie. You're filming Wonder Woman. Now you you've gotten your own movie out, yes. out of this. It's yes, amazing. Yes, yes, it's amazing. After being released in June of 2017, Wonder Woman became an instant success. Fans and critics worldwide didn't fail to show how much they enjoyed every bit of the movie. Wonder Woman live up to the hype. I say hell yes. <laughs> That's a breath I've been holding since 2013. Wonder Woman is the first really, really legitimately good DCEU movie. This film has a lot of weaknesses and it does have strengths also. Now the whole premise of this movie is Diana, princess of the Amazons, was groomed to become an unbeatable warrior before becoming Wonder Woman. Diana, who was raised in a peaceful secluded island, meets Chris Pine, an American pilot, and he informs her of the terrible struggles going on in the outer world. Diana makes her first home departure, convinced she can neutralize the menace. She ultimately realized a true potential emission whilst fighting with the men in the war to end all conflicts. I wanted her to be very warm, warm character, uh, very vulnerable and full of hope and love. In November of 2017, the Justice League movie was released. Warner Bros began to develop a live action Justice League film in 2007, which George Miller set to direct, but the project was cancelled due to production delays and budgetary concerns. Zack Schneider also stepped down from the film following the death of his daughter in 2016 and Josh Whedon was hired to oversee the remainder of post-production, including writing and directing additional scenes as well as reshooting a large portion of the film with an estimated production budget of $300 million. Justice League is one of the most expensive films ever made. The film grossed $600 million worldwide against an assumed break-even point of $750 million, becoming a box office failure. In this concept of a movie, one scene became infamous. Kalel, no! Kalel, no! This two seconds line was the talk on the internet as many fans drew the actress for a lackluster delivery. She needs to get some acting lessons. How much longer is our society going to collectively pretend that this woman can act? I don't care if it's bad acting, she's just so goddamn pretty. Aww. Aww. Mm. What led to this scene was that the newly formed Justice League wanted to resurrect Superman, who died in the prequel, Superman v Batman to help defeat Steppenwolf. Praise to the unity! With the help of the Mother Box, the heroes were able to achieve their objective. But unfortunately, Superman felt apprehensive towards the strangers in front of him. 
Cyborg, who couldn't control his armor defense system, attacks Superman and this confirms what Superman was thinking. His life was truly in danger. Just right before he attacks them, Wonder Woman, played by Gal Gadot, shouts kal no to stop Superman from retaliating. It's funny how in just a single year, you could be appreciated and in the same year, you will be ridiculed. The issues surrounding this movie is way worse than Gal Gadot's acting prowess. The CGI is just terrible. Most of the action scenes look like cuts from a PlayStation game. The main villain's aim is empty and lacks any real motivation. The whole movie is one big cliché. There's some magical objects which used to belong to the villains and some thousand years ago, the villains were defeated and the magical objects were scattered across the universe, not destroyed, just scattered. The villain comes back to retrieve the magical objects very easily and on the verge of unleashing chaos on this shithole of a planet, the superheroes somehow find a way to stop this from happening. Let me know what other movies you think have the same plotline. The dialogues in the movie are not convincing or memorable. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. Ezra Miller is in this, so yeah, that's a red flag. Um, I think aside from Cyborg, literally every character in this movie is awful. Just awful. I mean, I sort of, I'm okay with the villain because of how simple his motivation is. All he wants to do is just destroy. Shiny say she